So, hi, hello guys from NKK and from I know um, uh, Novo team, uh, Ingenic uh, Novo team. Um, yeah, just a quick review of the problem that I have with my tablet. Uh, I had this tablet now for less than a week and uh, I was um, pretty happy about it for the first few minutes, but uh, very quickly I've got some bizarre stuff things with this um, yeah with this tablet uh, here you can see uh, on my package it's um, yeah it's a branded Novo 7 basic one but uh, with a sticker called new so uh, I don't know what's happened with this tablet this is a standard package basic package from the machine with the Android installed Android 3.2 version of Google Android um, okay and um, yeah here I just display you uh, what's happened. Um, to be sure that uh, my tablet is now plugged on the, on, on the power uh, I have no SD card inside and um, yeah to start to be sure that's, that the problem come from the machine uh, here I go directly uh, and I do um, a factory a factory reset and um, <coughs> But it's this. I did it many times, and um, nothing happens. Uh, it's exactly the same as before. And here, uh, yeah, cache fat partition. Okay. Okay. Um, I will reboot the system now. <coughs> I hope the video is not too long, and um, <clears throat> but from my experience, yeah, it's uh, it's very quick. Uh, the problem that I have, it's very quick to display and to explain. <clears throat> um, so, um, concern. Uh, we're waiting that the machine will reboot. Um, Good point. Uh, when I look here about this uh, Aino Novo 7 uh, machine, a uh, good point. Uh, okay, um, multi touch works very fine. Uh, the processor is, um, yeah, I'm quite happy. Uh, battery, okay, when the system is not uh, uh, blocked, uh, battery seems to run correctly too. Um, <coughs> what I didn't like, okay, is the um, the biggest problem is, from my point, out of the stability, is uh, the fact that um, uh, yeah, the screen is yeah, it's it's not the biggest, best screen in the world, but okay, it's correct for this price. It's much, it's quite correct here. I hold it in different ways. You can see it. It's quite bright. It's okay. So now I reset it, uh, the tablet, it reboots, we have here the iNull logo, I'm sorry for that. Okay, it's a first boot after uh, a reset of the system, so it's a little bit longer than the standard reboot. Standard reboot is quite, quite quick. Um, so, yeah. What I like on this machine is, yeah, to have the volume on the side and to have here this access button that continue to work on the uh, Honeycomb 3.2. I found this very, uh, very good. To, to continue to use them. The camera quality is okay. Uh, okay. Small, small piece of camera results. <clears throat> now, okay, I hope. Come on. So, the problem that I had it's that the machine, I have two sorts of problems. First of all, it's the machine freeze. So, no special things to say. It's you try to work, you try to start. Uh, most of the time the problem comes with uh, the web home page or web pages. You, yeah, you, you 
try to go to a web page and uh, then it's freezed and uh, you must reboot uh, the tablet here on the side you have his reset button here and uh, so that's why I have here my reset tool. So okay here we are. Um, so the reaction of the tablet um, when it started Right, fine normally, I don't know why. Okay, it's finishing to booting, so um, yeah. Okay, when you do this factory reset mode, you lose um, all of the standard pre installed software, all this Marvel, uh, here Spider Man, or Gameloft uh, stuff. A lot of this stuff is uh, now off because, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, you see, it's away. And if I go to the application, again, I just have some basic application. So, um, I try to directly have um, to freeze the machine. So, the simplest way is to going. Uh, on a web page, so first I go to the Google web page. Ah, no, sorry, I must go here. I must activate Wi Fi. Oop. Okay, Wi Fi is on. So the access is done. Quite smooth. And again I go here to the web page. And yeah, here we are. Freeze. Finish. Nothing more. All is off. Only thing we can do. Use my pen and press and reset my tablet. So yeah, and uh, I don't know how many times I did this operation. I did it um, okay in the last four days minimum. Uh, I don't know twenty times. Every time when I use it for maybe five or ten minutes, and if I go to the, to any sort of web page, I have here this uh, freezing or blocking process uh, that appears, and um, yeah, no solution. So I try to reset it. I try to do a couple of things. So now I'm rebooted. So you can see the, the tablet. Himself is, yeah, it's good. Uh, quick, you can go to the to all of the installed application, and um, yeah, they are, they work quite, yeah, quite good. Yeah, so. Nothing to say. Um, with this application, I'm quite happy. Um, but okay, it's a tablet that I have to allow me to going to the internet. So again, I go to Google. Now it works. Now it run. Okay, and okay, it's not freeze for the moment. I can press two other things. So uh, I am based in uh, in France actually. My in France, so um, so for the moment uh, it seems yeah, to 
work. I'll try another another page. Okay, now it's run. Take a long time to finishing the starting page. Ah uh, here. Crash. I didn't do anything with my finger, it's, it's crashed. So I and again, I start to reopen Google. Okay, we are. Try, um, I try to go to YouTube. The, the, uh, there are no YouTube internal um, tool uh, inside, so. Um, uh, not it. If I go to BBC. Um, so, and here again. Oh, wait. Machine. Can do what I want. So, it's totally unstable. I have no idea if my machine is, is broken. If it's a physical problem, I don't know. Eventually, it was. Uh, uh, physical problem with uh, the, um, the memory, or if it's uh, yeah, a version of the software that is installed on the machine, it's quite bizarre. Um, I will display you the firmware version, um, and I hope you can uh, give me. A procedure to um, yeah to correct the problem, or you must uh, yeah give me my money back for uh, this machine because yeah or exchange it um, because actually it's not usable from my uh, from my situation from my point of view of the situation it's not usable. So uh, yeah, I go I just go to switch the language. <coughs> um, Okay, I can put it in English too, eventually. And uh, yeah, about the tablet. Uh, so I, I tried to see if there are some system updates, but nothing, nothing is available actually. So I I don't understand why Ankika you said it's uh, yeah, I ICS ice cream sandwich ready from yeah for the moment nothing. Um, is visible on this uh, point. On this point. So uh, actually, for me, this is a, a simple Novo 7 Basic with 3.2 uh, Android version, kernel version, and um, yeah. And here you can see that this firmware is coming from okay, 25 November 2011. I have to say. So I don't know if we have a problem. If you know about a problem about this version of the of this build number, but uh, for me it's clearly I I could not use it correctly. It's um, creating so many problems, and uh, a last big problem for other users that see this video is um, okay. Um, yes, you have an app store. You have the um, have the market, the Google market, so I have no uh, account uh, set it actually, but um, it's amazing and yeah, most many applications are not here, many applications are not in the market, in the official market, uh, you will not find the SwiftK or uh, many standard uh, application and concerning the Google apps, yeah, you have Gmail, okay, but uh, when you try to see your calendar, nothing happened. Uh, you have no calendar, no Google calendar access. You don't have access to the official YouTube uh, application. So um, this is quite frustrating. You think you have a, a yeah a maybe standard uh, Google um, tab with Google material, and you see that um, most of the application that you buy or that you have. Are, yeah, are not present 
So, and uh, here you have the a Go market. It's a Chinese market. I have no idea how you can exploit. Um, I I'm not speaking Japanese uh, Chinese, so it's uh, very difficult for me to to use something like here. Okay, thank you guys, and uh, hope you can help me.